Tabasco, no, stop! Iguanas can be an extremely popular lizard. As you can see, Tabasco is an absolutely beautiful animal, but I tell you what, there's definitely a dark side to them. Iguanas have been pets since the 70s. As a matter of fact, back in the 70s and 80s, when you were gonna get a big lizard, it was almost always iguanas for a couple reasons. They were actually relatively available, pretty cheap to be honest with you. They're coming out of Central and South America, being bred down there, and they were coming in dirt cheap, and people just thought iguanas were the best option. That was before bearded dragons, leopard geckos, all the other options we have now. Heinz is, of course, a sunglow albino. And the reason why the albinos are typically pretty chill and can make some pretty good pets, to be honest, is the fact that they actually don't have really good eyesight. So the fact that they're almost blind, they don't seem to have that kind of aggression that other iguanas have. Because trust me, the problem with iguanas is, is that they're really great as babies and even at a year old. But once they reach maturity, it can get ugly. And we thought that Tabasco and Sriracha were just basically getting into breeding mode, which we we're actually excited about. But moments after we filmed this, tragedy happened. And that tragedy was actually that Tabasco totally beat up and injured Sriracha. I mean, you can see there's some cuts on her that we've treated now. Unfortunately, he broke her tail off at the edge right there and even broke a couple of her fingers. I know it's terrible, guys. Bum me out so bad. I love this animal so much. And to see her get injured like that, literally within minutes, we were able to pull her out. And now we have her in a smaller enclosure right here just to kind of heal up. Our vet is taking a look at her, making sure that we can get her as good as possible. She's probably going to lose a finger or two, which is an absolute bummer. But just supposed to show you that what happens is that when a male reaches sexual maturity, sometimes within minutes, it can actually snap. Literally just a couple days before this event, Tabasco was out and playing around and acting completely normal. Where did he go? And I really believe that Sriracha is gonna be okay, but she's definitely beat up, which just absolutely bums me out because she's such a beautiful animal. And that's the problem with green iguanas, there's no doubt about it. And like I said, we'll keep her in isolation down here for a little while. Once she's completely healed, we'll move her into a larger cage that is obviously away from Tabasco, and she'll spend the rest of her life not with a male because we never want anything like this to happen again. But I tell you what, it stressed me out so bad when I seen her get hurt like that. I was like, oh no, I raised this little thing up from a baby and they were so good. I thought maybe we were gonna get some eggs because they were breeding and it turns out to Tabasco just went absolutely territorial and beat the heck out of Sriracha. Green iguanas are stunning animals, but you can see right now he's looking at literally whipping me with his tail and stuff like that. You've gotta be careful. It's okay, buddy. Whoa, okay. Calm down, all right, he's kind of calmed down. And listen, they are stunning. I mean, there's not much more beautiful than this when it comes to a reptile. I mean, look at how incredible Tabasco is. The problem is, is that oftentimes they just don't make great pets. And that might be why some of the invasive issues in Florida have happened is that people keep these animals, they're super cute as babies. They were coming in for $10, $12, people were buying them. Then they get to this size, they kind of get more territorial and some people are letting them go. Now, I'm not saying all the problems in Florida are from people letting them go because they come on shipments of other produce that actually come in from other countries and then ultimately get released from those ships. So I'm not blaming people for the invasiveness in Florida. What I am saying is that the vast majority of people that keep a large iguana can't keep them for any length of time. And so now you have a problem where you can't get rid of them because you have all these big adult iguanas that are kind of unkeepable. They're not friendly. They're not good to work with. So people are like, I just need to get rid of them. And I hate to see that with this animal. When you take on an animal like Tabasco Sriracha, it's a lifelong commitment for them, right? Personally think that for most people, green iguana aren't really the option. Brian showed us so, this really cool trick. So Brian trick. taught us this crazy <laughs> trick, right? That's it. That's all I got for you. So now, please, guys, try this CS. at home. Don't try this at home. This is really stupid, and we're professionals, kind of. I really don't even know how to do this part. Oh my God! He won't even grab it. Mike, Mike, get it, get Jay, it, get it, get it. You are so dumb. I swear. Sometimes. Go all right, we're going the big boy. Oh no, you're doing it. No, you no. didn't grab it. No, absolutely. Stop. <laughs> I can't even hold the alligator. Any last words? No, I got this. Ready? Okay. No, you have to touch his tongue, though. No, you don't. I can just... Oh! Sorry. I can't even do it. So, hold on. Can I tell you something real fast? <laughs> listen, listen, let me tell you what Brian... Really, get hold on. Listen to me. What you're about to do, you are going to hurt yourself. You have to just touch the tongue. Yes, because right now you're aiming for those teeth. Look, <laughs> his approval face. I'm scared. I'm scared, too. Oh, did it hurt? He didn't get me. But he didn't pop. Oh, oh I got a little pop. Did you hear that? I heard it. It was a little one. Good job. <laughs> All right, Jay, your turn. Hey, hey! 
There are so many options when it comes to really cool lizards, and the truth is, is that iguanas can be absolutely amazing, but green iguanas are definitely tough. I mean, they're best kept like in big outdoor enclosures, oftentimes enough where females can totally get away from males, and even the large cage that we had Sriracha and Tabasco in wasn't large enough, obviously, to keep her in a situation where she wasn't able to get hurt, but I would personally recommend if you want an iguana and you don't want a bearded dragon or a gecko or something like that, a rhino iguana is amazing. I mean, look at Diddy here. I mean, he's just a puppy dog. He'll sit in my hands for hours. And when these guys reach sexual maturity, just like Diddy did this last year, they don't change their personality, right? Now, he went around, he chased Dixie around to breed her and stuff like that, but he wasn't going to harm her. He wasn't going to try to beat her up and try to rip her tail off and break her fingers and stuff like that. They're just not that way, and they don't change their attitudes towards people either. I mean, he is an absolute wonderful animal. So, again, I'm not trying to tell people that are working with green iguanas that you're wrong. What I'm trying to say is that green iguanas are really not for most people. They're really difficult pets every now and then you get one that stays really really docile but the majority of time especially with males once they hit a certain size and age they turn kind of psycho and they become terrible pets again if you want an iguana because you're like I've got to have an iguana I would really suggest a rhino iguana a Lewis eye some sort of cyclora because they are wonderful I mean just look at how I mean they're like puppy dogs so don't take the risk on a green iguana that could potentially break your heart down the road when you can get something like a rhino iguana that just make great pets for the next 50 60 years Hi, hi, Amy. Of course, yesterday we saw that Ivy started to shed out and have some stuck shed on her. Day two, still the same amount of shed. You can see she's got shed on her face, kind of on her body a little bit. She hasn't went anymore. And I don't understand. She's been in the water all day since yesterday, but still hasn't broke that shed off her head, her face, or her underbody. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I sure hope that eventually here in the next day or two, she'll get that shed off because I don't want anything to happen to one of my favorite snakes, Ivy. And in typical anaconda fashion, someone's coming up to say hi to me. Hey, girl, what are you doing? Of course, Ariana, she's as, uh, she's as curious as Ivy is. What, what are you looking for? Is there something I can help you with? No? You're just hanging out with me? Anacondas, I'm telling you what, they're the craziest animal on the planet. You think finding a needle in the haystack is difficult? Tyson, the albino box turtle, certainly is great at hiding. You know, it's a big enclosure for him, and I just can't seem to figure out where he's at. Well, that was a little bit of a problem finding this little monkey for sure. He's been eating really good, so we're just going to go ahead and weigh him and see where he's at. 11, 12 grams. Last time he was at 10 grams, so he's gaining just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but he's definitely working in the positive way, which is all we want. He's absolutely adorable, but uh, I tell you what, he is good at hiding. There's no doubt about that. You gotta get him out, and I'll get the nose. How is that fair? Get look, look what he did to my hand. No, get him out. It's oh. just Milton. Yeah. Oh, really? I mean, I don't know anything about Milton. He, 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 he definitely does we bite. He combed my beard with him the other day. Throwback. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Don't mind. Really getting deep in the pores. Good throwback. He's got a little bit of uh, salt buildup in the nose. Would you relax? I'm fine. He's what like you, the what size of your about? thumb. He's got a little bit of calcium buildup by his nose, so we're just gonna get that off. Because it makes him look good, it helps him breathe a little bit. A little Can someone bit. else hold his tail? Wow. I, I thought it was actually gonna come out in the tube. Yeah, like a bearded dragon. That was just, it was like thing. salt. It's been a while. Now you guys have to hype it. Thanks for watching today's video. I promise we're gonna take care of Sriracha. She'll be on the men soon. Definitely really bummed out about what happened. If you wanna support this channel, what you could do is you could watch a couple of videos in this playlist right here. You can also subscribe right here. It really does mean the world to me. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.